Are you ready to get positioned to profit in your digital business? Today, what I want to do is walk you through the positioned to profit four part plan. We focus on your plans, your products, your profit, and your people. So let's do it. First thing I want you to do is to think about your business plans. What exactly are you trying to accomplish? So whether it be in a notebook or in a Google Doc, brain dump the things that you want to accomplish in your business. <laughs> now, you can pause me for a couple of minutes so you can start the process of writing that down. I'll wait. It's okay. I'm assuming you pause on me for a little bit. <laughs> Okay. Now, when you unpause, I want you to think about the following. When it comes to you mapping out the different things you're trying to accomplish in your business right now, do you feel like you're organized or are you all over the place? Do you feel like you got all the parts or some of the parts are missing? If those are things that you struggle with, what I want to do is support you. So as we go through this position to profit four point plan today, I also want you to take this opportunity, okay, to get a 30 minute call with me so that we can work on your position to profit plan together. I can help you plug the holes and organize your plans moving forward. There's a special way that I like to organize plans. But before we get there, we're going to start here, mapping out the plans of what it is that you're trying to accomplish right now. Next thing, number two, what I want to do is talk to you about your products, okay? Now, when it comes to products, I like to break them down into three PR categories, okay? Because there are different types of products that you absolutely should have in your online business. And the first PR is your primary products, okay? That's what we're going to focus on today, your primary products. These are the main things that you offer to your audience. So for me, I'm a web and graphics designer. That's my primary business, number one. Number two, I am your content coach and business bestie. So I offer content coaching, clarity coaching. Those are two things that I do consistently. These are primary main offers. What are some of your primary main offers? List them out, okay? Now, you can pause me again quick power pause so that you have the opportunity to think about what those primary offers are for you. I'll wait. Now, I'm assuming you took a little pause so you could think about and write them things out, okay? If you didn't, make sure that you do, okay? Number two, as we're thinking about your primary offers, a couple of things I want to ask you. Are you confident when it comes to those as your primary? Do you have questions or doubts about what you're putting together and what you want to put out there. Because to be clear, there are a lot of folks out there that say these are their main offers, but something ain't right, right? For some folks, they're like, oh, this is what I'm selling, but I don't want to sell this no more. <laughs> I don't want to sell this no more. I don't want to work with them folks no more. I don't want to do this. <laughs> Your primary offers, maybe they were right before, but they ain't right no more, right? Some people, they're in a place where they're like, I think I want to sell this, but mm, I don't know. Kind of iffy, right? Number two, number three, as I mentioned before, I have three types of PR essential offers that you need to know. You want to grow. There are three PR offers. Primary is one of them. Hopefully you've taken at least five minutes to just kind of pause and schedule a 30 minute clarity call with me so that within those 30 minutes, we can work on your plan, number one, and we can talk about the three types of PR products that you should be focused on, number two. First, start off with identifying what you feel like your main offers are. 
And then think about if you're confident in them, if you have questions around them, and if you need support from somebody who's been doing this for 20 plus years in this digital marketing space, I got you. Create the space for us to jump on a 30-minute call and talk about what you need to do. Next on this list is your profit, okay? I'm all about making sense of making money online. That's what Sister Sense is all about, right? Making sense of making money online. And if this is not just a hobby for you, but it's in a business, that means that your business needs to be generating a profit. So let's talk about it. When it comes to your profit, there are two conversations that I always have. We want to work on your revenue goals getting clear about exactly how much money you want to bring in in your business, create a clear roadmap. I've got something called the revenue roadmap, your revenue goals, number one, and your right, right now offer, number two. These are two conversations that you should be having. When it comes to your revenue goals, basic, what you want to make annually, number one, what you want to make this month, Number two, okay? These are just simple revenue goals that you should be working on. Just jot those down for today as we're having this conversation, okay? I wanna be able to break all the way down the different things you need to consider when it comes to your revenue goals if you want to be strategic. And I also wanna help you identify your right, right now offer. Because trust me, you may sometimes want to put some things out there that are not the right right now offer for you and your customers too. So we want to make sure that you are in alignment with the assignment you should be focused on. That's what we're going to talk about in the Clarity Call next, but we're focused just on this plan now. Last is your people. When we talk about your people and getting strategic, positioning yourself for profit, I want you to think about two R words because it's all about the R factor for me, baby. Reach, reconnect. How are you going to strategically reach new people and how are you going to be consistently reconnect with your previous customers and clients. It's all about the old and the new, okay? Do you have a reconnect strategy, number two, a reach strategy, number one? Ask you, and you can power pause me, what are some things that you do to reach new people? Do you have questions about how can I reach new people? How can I reach new people today? I want you to think about your current reach strategy and what that looks like for you. Are you doing enough when it comes to reconnect? Because baby, it's not just about the new. (laughs) It's about your tried and true customers, your repeat buyers who keep coming back to you and bringing their friends too. Are you proactively reconnecting with previous customers as you reach new customers in the process? Power pause me, think about it, take notes, gain that clarity. So hopefully today was an opportunity for you to kind of hang out with me, again, your content coach, business bestie, and get clarity, right? As far as things you can do to position yourself for profit, okay? Next thing that I want you to do, of course, is schedule that call with me, positioning yourself for profit, and the strategic things that I want for us to cover from here to make sure that you're crystal clear about your plans, your products, your profit, and your people. Any questions for me, as always, feel free to check in. You can email me, scissorsense at gmail.com. And when you're on the scissorsense.com website, just click that gray tab on the right to send me a voice message. Till next time, take care.